the glory of the Lord is here. I welcome you to our reflection. And today I want to look at our theme, which is treasure in God's word in the heart. Treasure in God's word in the heart. And we are leading from the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms chapter 119. From verse 1 to 6. And I read, The word of God enlightens the paths of people. Blessed those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, they walk in his ways. You have given them the command to observe your precepts with care. May my ways be firm in the observance of your statutes. Then I will not be ashamed to ponder all your commandments. I will praise you with sincere heart. As I study your luscious judgments, I will observe your statutes. Do not leave me alone. How can they, the young, keep his way without fault? Only by observing your words. With all my heart, I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. Very beautiful passage. So, as we reflect together on God's word, how to treasure the word of the Lord in our hearts. You see, from the psalm that you have read, it is saying, with my whole heart I seek you. With all my heart I seek you. How can a young man keep the statutes, the commands of God, by observing and dedicating himself to study the word of God, the precepts of God. The precepts is what God has said. And these are scriptures. When you begin to study, you know, study the word of God seriously by observing the law. You now in our you know, tradition of the Jewish, it is called Torah. When we understand that living the commandments you no, know, embraces all of the movements of the human life with God. When you begin to observe and obey the Torah, the commandments of God, it embraces every movement of a human person, embracing the all person in the you no know, human life, our walk with God. We cannot obey someone we don't know. We cannot obey someone we don't love. So when God is telling us to treasure His word in our hearts, He's telling us to change you know, from just being an observer, you know, from just being like something being pushed on you to do, but to embrace it in our lives. No, as we relate with our God, it is experiencing God in the present moment where you are. No, you obey the word of God, the Torah, right where you are. No, experiencing God, His goodness, His graces, His mercy, as you observe, as you obey His word. That he has given to you. You know, instead of just focusing on kind of a tradition that is there, but it improves your understanding with the relationship with God, the personal relationship with God, so that you can dedicate your life to God through the study of God's word. Through the studying of God's word, you know, Instead of just conforming to the legal code, conforming to you know, 
just obeying for the sake of obeying, but it changes us because we know why we are obeying and who we are obeying. It's seeking God with all our heart. Obedience to God's word, to God's commandments, is not just in a kind of a legal thing, but it is the way we deepen our relationship, our dedication to God the Father, who has called us to work with Him, seeking Him with all our heart. How do we seek God? By obeying what He has given us, the commandments that He has given us. You know, the, the Bible, if you read the Bible in the Old Testament, one of the beautiful, beautiful verses there that you can find is Deuteronomy chapter 6. If you read Deuteronomy 6, now starting from verse 6, it states this. Now, one of the greatest commandments from Torah in the Old Testament, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and by keeping and teaching his word. So how do you keep that commandment of God? One is by keeping, observing and after observing the ordinances, the commandments of God now to be able to teach others about this word. And I pray that may God arise uh, the Spirit, the grace in you to begin to teach and observe the word in your heart. Ponder it in your heart. Reflect up upon that word as you share with brothers and sisters across the world. Now, the word of God, the Torah must be studied in prayer and meditation. You know, that's what we are saying. Meditate up upon the word. What God has said about situations. Think about it. You know? Meditation is true and think about what God has said and pray that God gives you the gift of understanding. If you seek the Lord with all your heart, He will give you the understanding of what you are meditating upon. Again, if we look in the New Testament, we have the model of a mother who ponders things in our heart. Our blessed Virgin Mary, we can read from Luke chapter 2 verse 19. You know? And you know, certain instances in the life of the blessed Virgin Mary, she did not understand, but she trusted in God. And when she did not understand, she kept on pondering things in her heart, pondering, thinking over of what Jesus said and what he meant. So she kept reflecting, meditating on those words. So, Mary treasures all these words and ponders them in our heart. So as we reflect on God's word, I pray that the Holy Spirit will lose interest in you to study his word, to reflect on his word. In the name of Jesus, that you give you the power to think over the word of God and meditate upon them. Think through the words of God and it may give you the understanding to follow through what God is directing you, God is commanding you to observe. In the name of Jesus, love be the sacred art of Jesus. Love be the immaculate art of Mary. God bless you.